My name is Sunil Khanna, and I am passionate about working collaboratively with communities to help develop sustainable and appropriate strategies to improve the health status of women and children in poor areas of India. Globally, millions of women and children die every year due to causes that are preventable. Research-based strategies that focus on improving their health can play an important role in saving lives and ensuring that future generations will be healthy and prosperous. It is one of the most effective ways to promote social and economic development. I welcome students to join my research team to gain hands-on experience doing community-based work. Students can help me with data collection, analysis, and continuing communication with my partner, community-based organizations in India. Hello, I'm Veronica Irvin. I study how medical and science information is presented, what type of information is disclosed, and how that might change someone's behavior. My first project assesses health literacy and communication methods among cancer survivors in order to better understand how they manage their health. In the second project, we evaluate the content of information on clinical websites in terms of accuracy, reading level, and sentiment. For both studies, our goal is to understand how people make decisions from this information and how it impacts their health. Finally, I investigate how scientists present their results to fellow researchers. The culture of science is evolving to become more open and transparent, and I measure various outcomes affected by these new policies and norms. I welcome students to contact me if they would like to learn more. Hi, my name is John Geldof, and my research focuses on psychological and behavioral indicators of thriving across the lifespan, with a specific emphasis on promoting positive youth development during adolescence. By understanding the personal strengths that help young people reach their goals, I aim to support programs and policies that ensure all people receive the opportunity to develop into productive, contributing members of society. Students who work in my lab get first-hand experience applying cutting-edge developmental theory and methods to understanding what goes right in the lives of youth. Graduate and undergraduate research assistants are the heart and soul of my lab, and we're always on the lookout for new team members interested in studying positive youth development in any of its myriad forms. Hi, I'm Laurel Kinsel, and my research is all about understanding and reducing the risk of injury and illness from hazards. With funding from the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, I am testing injury prevention efforts with workers in high-risk industries such as construction and commercial fishing. With funding from the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences, I'm testing a novel system to measure exposure and health simultaneously in disadvantaged communities. All of my work is interdisciplinary teams and engaged populations. Because I work with populations with the highest risk, my research can have a big impact to protect workers and communities. I invite students to work with me if they have a passion to engage workers and communities and to solve occupational and environmental health and safety problems. Hi, my name is Harold Bay, and my research is focused on examining the relationship between genetics and complex human diseases. In particular, I'm involved in multiple centenarian studies where the primary goal of my investigation is to identify parts of our DNA that enable a very small handful of individuals to live beyond the age of 100 or 105 which we call exceptional longevity. My research has great impact on our society, considering that every one of us is aging, and healthy aging has become an important public health issue, both at the national and international level. I welcome students to join my research team to gain hands-on experience doing big data analysis using the genetic data. Hi, I'm Michelle Auden, and my research focuses on cardiovascular disease prevention in older adults. We are living in an exciting time in history because Americans are living longer than ever before. It is essential that we conduct science that can enable these long-lived adults to stay healthy in their old age. My research is funded by the National Institute on Aging and has examined the impact of treatment of risk factors such as high blood pressure and high cholesterol in very old adults. I enjoy engaging students in my research and inspiring them to study the fascinating process of aging and its impact on public health. Hi, my name is Chang Hui Yun, and my main research interests are mental health policy, healthcare system transformation, and health economics. I have analyzed pressing policy issues such as deinstitutionalization policy, community treatment and recovery of severe mental illness, and return on investment in public mental and behavioral health. Another example of my current research is a CDS-funded project with Drs. Murray Harvey and Jeff Luck, which analyzes whether and how innovative healthcare delivery and financing models for Oregon Medicaid program 
called coordinated care organizations, contribute to achieving the triple aim of better health, better care, and lower cost with focus on marginalized populations. I am enthusiastic about mentoring students interested in studying how we may transform our current healthcare system to a more efficient one and how healthcare policy can promote the well-being of disadvantaged individuals. Hi, my name is Ursula Ivanets. Uh, the focus of my research is metabolic bone disease with an emphasis on osteoporosis. This is an important area of research because osteoporosis and associated fractures have a devastating effect on quality of life, especially for at-risk groups such as the elderly. With support from the National Institutes of Health, my lab is currently concentrating on two areas. The first area focuses on the relationship between nutrition and bone metabolism with an emphasis on how to prevent the negative skeletal effects of dieting. And the second area looks at the dose, gender, and age effects of alcohol consumption on bone. I welcome students who are interested and committed to performing original research in either osteoporosis or bone metabolism. Hi, I'm Mark Norcross and I am passionate about making participation in organized sports safer by reducing the risk of lower limb injuries. With support from Good Samaritan Hospital and Oregon School Activities Association Foundations, our research team evaluates why high school coaches aren't using structured injury prevention programs and whether certain types of coach-led activities are associated with less injury risk. Our research group also conducts laboratory-based studies in which we investigate the relationships between movement patterns that are associated with greater injury risk and modifiable factors such as explosive strength and fatigue resistance. Our work is impactful because we are not limited to the laboratory and we strive to improve population health by focusing on increasing the implementation of best practices and injury prevention programs in the community. I invite students with a passion for making physical activity safer to join our research team.